This is the RCUK buying guide to cycling shorts. Today, I wanna to take you through some of the key points of the garments in order that you are best armed with the information to get the best value for money and the correct garment for you. So without further ado, let's get stuck in with the basics. So let's start with an entry level pair of shorts, just so we can establish exactly what the basics of a good cycling short are. First of all, you might notice they're made of stretchy lycra material. Now a good set of cycling shorts will be worn skin tight, but not so tight that they're constrictive. And the reason for this is so that they don't chafe. A good pair of cycling shorts is all about making you as comfortable as possible in the saddle. Maybe if they look a little bit weird at first. The next thing you might obviously notice are these. Now these are the bib straps and they are what give bib shorts their name. Bib straps are worn over the shoulder like that in exactly the same way as a set of braces and they help keep your shorts in place, stop you having to pull them up all the time and they're gonna keep you more comfortable for longer. Now one of the great things about a set of bib shorts with bib straps is that they don't have a compressive waistband, meaning there's no pressure across the abdomen when you're cycling. Now one of the key features, one of the most important features with a good set of cycling shorts is this, this cushioned pad inside known as the chamois. Now chamois vary greatly in technology, this one here is quite a basic one, but it's thick, it's nice, foam padded and designed to be worn next to the skin. You heard that right? Chamois are worn next to the skin, that's no underwear, so a pair of cycling shorts replaces your underwear, you wear them once and then you're good. This is going to ensure that you are absolutely comfortable on the saddle but I will add a word of warning. What's comfortable for me might not be comfortable for you in exactly the same way as saddles. Chamois vary greatly between brands, even between price points within the same brand. So it's definitely worth having a look around between brands and seeing what best suits you. Now with those three basic elements, you're going to be pretty well set with a pair of cycling shorts. But if you want a little bit more in the way of performance, you can spend a little bit more and get a bit more for your money. So I'm gonna have a look at a set of premium bib shorts here. And these are something similar to what a professional might use, for instance. So first of all, we're gonna take a look inside where we left the last pair at the chamois. And you'll notice that it has changed somewhat. It looks a bit different. This chamois is thicker, it's got multi-density layers of foam, and it's treated antibacterially. And generally, if you spend a bit more, this is where your money is reflected. There are more technologies to the chamois that are potentially gonna give you a more comfortable ride. But let's take a look at some of the other details here. The bib straps have changed. They've gone from that mesh breathable material through to this very, very stretchy elastic laser cut material. Also, the way the bib straps are arranged, they're gonna sit closer and more comfortably to the lines of your body. This is not only more aerodynamic, but potentially more comfortable for long days in the saddle. Now moving down the short, we've got some really nice reflective details here on the lower back and on the bottom of the leg as well. And this is gonna keep you seen for longer in low light conditions. Also inside the leg at the bottom, most good shorts will have this as a set of silicon grippers. This is gonna help along with the bib straps, keep your shorts in place over the long duration of your ride with a lot of movement. Now one of the other things to note here and often found on high end bib shorts is the mixture of lycra fabric. Not all lycras are the same. If you look closely at the garment here, you'll see that there are two different types of lycra used with a panel at the lower back made of a more mesh-like lycra. This is so you have more breathability here and often higher end bib shorts will be made of different panels arranging the seams away from areas of various chafing and also offering you technological advancements such as breathability or even sun protection. Now finally, there is another option. If bib straps aren't your thing, then we can take a look at waist shorts. And as you may have guessed, waist shorts feature a waistband. The bib straps that would be attached here are gone. Now waist shorts are often perceived to be a little bit lesser in quality, but that's not true. There are some great quality waist shorts out there. The advantages of them, well, they're more discreet. You could wear them under some casual clothing, for instance, and it's far, far easier to go to the bathroom without having to take the bib straps off. But I will say, they're not as comfortable over a long period of time. The waistband is often quite compressive as it's designed to keep the shorts in place and this can result in some uncomfortable pressure across the front of your abdomen. So there we have it. That's exactly what to be looking for in a good set of cycling shorts. I do hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching and for more content like this, don't forget to subscribe.